What's up everybody, welcome back to Fit Nurse Will, and in today's video, I'm gonna give you a life update, including my schooling, my work, and my personal life. And if you're a new nurse, you're gonna wanna stay to the end so you can get some of my advice on how to be successful, so stay tuned. Be sure to subscribe for more nursing content. All right, everybody, so I just wanna give you guys a little recap of the last few months. It's been so crazy for me. First, we'll start with the school. I registered for three classes. Two of them I ended up completing. The third I ended up having to drop out of because it was conflicting with my work schedule. And as always, if you have any questions about my nursing journey relating to school or about my past education, just go ahead and comment below and I'll go ahead and answer those questions. Next, we'll talk about my work. So I applied for my job one week. And then two days later, they called me back. The interview was going to be the following week. So I had all weekend long to practice interview questions, you know, questions like, tell me about yourself, tell me about a difficult patient, what would you do in this situation? Just questions that I could find online so I could uh, knock the interview out of the park, which I did because I landed the job. Now, the job that I accepted is a med surge job. And so my patient ratio is four patients to me, so four to one ratio. And so far, it's been manageable. One thing that I've been able to work on is my time management, you know, going into one patient's room, getting what I need to get done and get out and then doing the same thing for the next patient, the next patient, the next patient, staying on top of my tasks, stay on top of my charting. And then if I have any extra time that I'm able to go into my patient's room, see if there's anything that they need, you know, just staying on top of everything. Because if I just sit there and don't do anything, then all these tasks are going to pile up and it's going to seem overwhelming and there's no way I'm going to leave at my 12 hour mark, right? So, so far the job, it pays very well. Can't complain there. The people, they all seem very helpful. Everyone tries to help everyone as much as we can. We don't have any LVNs, CNAs. We do have mobility techs. And sometimes those people are scheduled. Sometimes they're not. Sometimes they go to another unit. So it's pretty much just, you're doing everything. You're doing the vitals. You're doing the meds. You're doing the turning of the patient. If you need to turn a patient, you're bringing them water, you're helping them go to the restroom. So it is quite a bit of work, but as long as you stay on top of everything, if there is a patient who you know needs a little bit more care than the others, it tends to balance itself out nicely. So overall, I can't complain about my job. I mean, they're paying me to come to work and to do work, right? And that's exactly what they're getting out of me. So overall, uh, registered nurse, for any new nurses out there, I would say, you know, expect to be working hard. You're going to work hard wherever you go. You're going to be learning the policies and new procedures and how to do the charting and all that wherever you go. So might as well get paid the most amount of money. And another thing about my job is that I was able to have 12 weeks of a preceptorship. So I worked with another registered nurse and they were basically holding my hand. And then I'm actually about to enter in my mentorship. So now I'm on my own and this is going to last for 12 weeks. Well, I'm always going to be on my own, but this is going to last for 12 weeks where I have if I have a question, I can just text my mentor. Hey, I have a question about this or that. I can reach out to them. So you have 12 weeks of preceptorship and 12 weeks of mentorship. And if you have any RN related work questions, go ahead and just comment below whatever they are. And I'll go ahead and get back to you as soon as I can. So transitioning over to my personal life, I was actually able to purchase a Tesla Model Y. And it's been phenomenal. My kids love it. I love it. My wife loves it. We love driving it around, taking it to the movie theaters, to the drive-in, um, taking it to the beach. It's just really nice and all of us fit into it. So we're really excited about that. It's been a nice little purchase that we made recently. And if you're interested in seeing some Tesla videos, just go ahead and comment below Tesla and I'll go ahead and start making some of those. So my advice for any new nurses out there, number one, when you start your job, you are not expected to know everything. Nobody's gonna know all the policies and then every disease, you know, I came across burning mouth syndrome. Like what? I had to look in my patho book and my med surge book to see what that was. So as a new nurse, just be patient. Take everything as a learning experience. There's been times where I've been drowning with patients. You know, this patient, that patient. I'm like, oh my goodness, I, I need to manage my time better. And it was a good way for me to reflect myself. Like what could I have done better to be more successful? So my recommendation for anybody who is a new nurse or who's been a nurse for a while, but especially the new nurses, I reflect on my day. What went well? What went bad? Be honest with yourself. If something went good, okay, what did you do that made it good? What worked well? And then if something bizarre happened in my shift, whether they wanted to talk, my patient wanted to talk to a manager, you know, I had to make a phone call to the physician and we were playing phone tag because, you know, a patient's going to a procedure. What went bad? 
and really dive in. Why did it go bad? What could I have done differently? What should I have done? Like, what did I do and what should I have done? And doing those things just on the car ride home and just kind of like decompressing and debriefing myself, honestly, in the mirror or just aloud in the car really has done wonders for me because no one's going to be more honest with me than myself. Okay. So I said, okay, you know, I did that great. I didn't do this great. And it was really helpful for me. So then when I came in the next day, right, if I have consecutive shifts, so the second day I'm able to say, okay, those things worked well for me and this is where I struggled. So, you know, between the hours of 10 a.m. to 3 p.m., I need to do better during that time. It's the middle of my shift. I'm getting kind of tired. Like I'm taking lunch. I'm trying to stay on top of all my charting. What do I need to do and improve on so that way I don't fall behind? Now, by doing that daily, it's been helping me personally be a better nurse. I'm able to spend more time with my patients. I'm able to stay on top of my charting. I'm, you know, I'm doing everything that I would want my nurse to do for me if I was sick. And that's what you have to remember. These people, they are there on not the best days of their lives, right? They, they don't know what's going on. They're just in bed all day. What's going on? People are just coming in and out of the room. They're just taking vitals. They're getting medication. They're getting food brought to them. You know, they get up to go to the restroom. They go back and lay down. So it's like, uh, it's just like a, a blend of days. Really makes an, a big difference when we go in there and we say, hey, today's Monday. You know, my name's William. I'm going to be your nurse today for the next 12 hours. I'm going to be back tomorrow. So any updates between today and tomorrow, we're going to get through it together. I think it really helps the patient feel at ease and, you know, kind of open up a little bit more to us as a nurse. At least that's been in my experience. So... I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any comments, questions, or concerns, leave them in the comments below. As always, thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video. Be sure to subscribe and like this video for more nursing content.